So here's the former world title challenger, the Black Beast, Derek Lewis. Of course, you have shared the octagon with this man, and they don't pack much more power than this guy in this heavyweight division. No, some guys are blessed with a power that's just jarring. And Derek Lewis is one of those guys. He's so big, he's so strong, he's deceptively quick when he's in there, and he's unbelievably athletic. He will throw double kicks, and you think that he's going up the left leg, but then the right leg lands, he throws the right hand from anywhere, and the moment he lands, he can put your lights out. And it does not matter the time of the round, yeah. Derek Lewis can finish at any moment in the fight. And he's a guy who's also been a real workhorse for the UFC, made his debut back in 2014. He did have a recent knee surgery. Let's see how he comes out of it here today. Exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here today. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce Epping Lee finds himself in yet another big spot here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Third party in the octagon tonight. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles just absurd. And a heart got a simulated training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. Nice job by him defensively there. Beautiful straight punch there by the Black Beast. And they are exchanging leather early. Nice straight punch. Wow. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Frantic pace early on to this one. Oh, spinning back fist lands. Just out of range with that right hook. Lewis's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Heavy leather leather on both sides in that exchange. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands with the mouth. Finally. 
Just over three minutes to go. Beautiful kick. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch. A huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh. And he comes through with a big knee. Right hand over the top. Lead kick is true there by Lewis. Oh, oh he's wobbling now. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Missed on the right hand. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Back and forth we go. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. It's a pretty good jab. All right, so another ringing jab right there, snapping his head back like a Pez dispenser. You can tell he was a former boxer. Yeah, absolutely. A huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. I don't know how many times he can get hit in the head and stay in this fight. Oh! Hurt him bad. Under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one. This is crazy. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Lewis gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can you say punch to the head? And now a head kick to boot. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Single leg takedown is good. Well, the ground and pound has been working for him. Nice job here by the Black Beast. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get up on the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. All right, to next. Stop. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two on the way. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent. Oh, oh he is stunned. Drunk driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. Oh! Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Oh, man. Oh, significant strike attempt there. Goes to the spinning kick, but he misses. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of ball. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. 
This is shades of Kobe Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following a game plan. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the UFC's octagon. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, beautiful body kick again. He invested in the body early, and he has not stopped. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Lee gets hit with that overhand, flush to the head. Those are big strikes. All right, so now his body language really starting to change, and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the floor. Oh! He hurt him bad. Man, this is crazy thus far. High volume, high pace, and a huge punch being landed there. Oh, with authority, the body. Lands a nice one, too. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Looks like the cut man to my right is starting to get anxious with all the high volume of strikes being landed here. He has really kept his opponent on his heels throughout. He's had him on his heels. He's got him reacting. He's reacting to the feints. He's reacting to the jab. He's reacting to every single thing coming in his direction. He has got to find a way to change the narrative, to change the way that this fight is playing out if he wants an opportunity. But to this point, this boxer has looked amazing. Lee's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Lewis gets caught with that punch. Just misses with the right. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Less than a minute now to go in round two. Lee's blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Oh, he got him hurt bad here. Big right hand. Oh, straight punch. It's there again. Man, his hips should have been tested early. Just out of range with the big right hand. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done, though. Good round. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead. Ready, fight. Ready. Third Ready. round underway. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they both did so evenly matched. Oh. We're still right where we started.
Straight right hand now just misses. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, nice kick. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Low kick lands flush. Nice knee to the body firing. Beautiful job staying at range and dictating the fight, landing punches like that. Back and forth we go. These two were intent to make a good fight. Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Well, some of the collar tie here. Cable inches right there. It was a good night at that land, dude. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Defensive come on. He blocked that punch. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, that's big. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the outfit. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and it's starting to show itself. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his high reel. Oh! Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, right hand. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Knee to the body is good. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Lee's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Well, head kick attempt, it is blocked by Lewis. Very fast jab lands for him. And that spinning kick out, it's home up top. Final seconds of round three. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to uh, run, uh, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician.
All right, back to the stools we go. Offensively, a lot to like from him, but on defense, he hasn't been able to stop anything tonight. Yeah, it's got to be the whole game, though, John. He's got to be willing and able to do everything. He's done a good job on the offensive side, but he has not defended well, and now he's dealing with that nasty cut. That cut is going to be an issue as the fight goes forward. He's got to change something. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Oh, nice jab by Lee. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Lewis's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Nice left front by Scott. Leg gets to the target. Nasty high kick lands. Lee's cut is only getting a oh, few strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Trading huge shots. Let's see. He's going to be the last man standing. Huge left hand. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. This oh. oh, he's got him hurt here. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to leave him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Still plenty of time with which to work here round four. Man, this is crazy, DC. These fighters are not trying to just touch each other. They're trying to put each other out with every shot. John, with every shot, these guys are trying to end the fight. What a start. Lee's cut on his nose does not look good. Actually, it looks really bad. You got to think the ringside physician is going to get called in here in a moment. Good block there. Well, he's got a pretty good sidekick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's comfortable. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. They continue to exchange. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different, and he's got to... He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh! Oh, big left hook there. That one landed clean. 90 seconds to go in the round. Lee's an absolute mess right now. There is blood everywhere. I wouldn't be surprised at all to see them call in the ringside position between rounds. Slips the punch. Nice shot to the body there. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight night. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. 
All right, so when is too much too much? I mean, I'm not sure I need to see the spider absorb any further. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Hey, he's off Take him down. Oh, nice body shot. Take shot. Knee to the body. Oh. 20 down, five to go. Heading back to the corner now after a competitive round. And Lee's nose has got to be broken. I mean, there is no stopping that blood at this point in time. And ringside physician probably going to come in and take a look. We'll see. Ready. Ready. Fifth and final round. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage space. Oh! He's got to try to finish here. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Oh, big knee to the body. Lewis is taking aim at that cut right now and hard to blame him, right? Might as well continue to target that area and see. Oh! Could be the beginning of the end here. It's a right hand. Oh, uh, huge shots being landed on both sides. Oh, big left. Man, his sidekick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good sidekick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. Great shot, man. Now he's got to go find that fight. The kill shot, is what they call it, to go and end the fight. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited, and you want to finish it because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing. And you big, big shots landed by him now. I can see the ringside position starting to get up because that cut has gotten to a very bad place. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Lewis is back in full mount. Oh, heavy shots raining down. In the half guard. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Are right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Lewis is just back in half guard. Oh, right into Mount. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his... Oh, how about it? Just what the doctor ordered. He gets back to the feet. John, it's like a Hail Mary. He needed to get up to his feet to give himself an opportunity. He got there. Now let's see if he can cash in. Nice jab. Well, he was knocked down by... Oh!
He Bottom needs fighter to better move. Yeah, he's got to move, Johnny. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. One minute to decide this one. All right, so we'll see what sort of defensive response ensues here. He's taking a lot of shots upstairs, and the swelling is there to prove it. Got to keep those hands. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Oh! That'll do it! The Black Beast strikes again! Oh, my goodness. What a fight. All right, here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 25 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Derek the Black Beast Lewis. Well, Derek Lewis might just be the UFC heavyweight champion of the world before this run is said and done. Congratulations to the Black Beast on yet another UFC triumph here tonight. And Lewis really starting to put all of his skills together under